Hello again ladies and gentlemen, this is Sid the Baker. Do you know, if I had a pound for everyone that asked me how to make pork pies, I'd have about five pound by now. So for those five people, and anyone else that might be interested, we're going to do pork pies today. What can I say? I'm a genius. I'll get my apron on and we'll get started. Okay, so what we're going to need to make pork pies, well, we're going to need a pound of minced pork. We're going to need four ounces of rashers of bacon. We're going to chop that into little quarter inch cubes. You're going to need a cup of dried breadcrumbs. I've told you about dried bread breadcrumbs in the past. If you've got any stale bread, don't throw it away. Put it through your blender. Turn it into breadcrumbs. Put it in the oven. Let it dry out. Put it in a bag. You can use it for all sorts of things. Bakers use this. Chefs use it. We all buy it in because it, it's called rust when we buy it in from the wholesalers and you use it to put in your meat pies, your pork pies if you're making hamburgers, beef burgers, that sort of thing, they all have rust in now, two tablespoons of sage and onion stuffing one teaspoon of my salt and pepper mix, now the salt and pepper mix remember it was three parts salt one part white pepper, shake it up in the thing you want one tablespoon of that and you also want two ounces of grated dripping now because the pork when you get from the supermarket it says five percent fat five percent fat of pork is not enough to make nice pie so we're going to add a little bit of fat to it we're going to add two ounces of dripping now i'm going to mix all this together and then i'm going to come back to you okay so i've chopped the bacon I've grated the dripping, I've put it all in here, I've put the breadcrumbs in and the salt and pepper and everything went, everything went in the bowl and we added water until you get a sort of sloppy-ish mix like that so you can handle it but it's still a little bit sloppy right now we're going to fill the pies out now what I've done as well I've also lined this little pie dish now I've lined this with my short crust pastry not the hot water pastry uh, that we normally use for the meat pies uh, now you've got the link for the meat pie pastry that's the hot water pastry and how to block them well that's all there you've also got a link on the short crust pastry and what to do with that so we've got that there so you've got all the information you need now what we're going to do we're going to fill these pies out so just put a load of it in your hand like that and just waddle it around until you get a nice ball of it in your hand like that. see that I'm going to just pop that in the middle of that pie there okay can you see that that's that now i'm also going to pull these other pies out and you want them around about a quarter of an inch off the top of the pie so it's just like this quarter of an inch off the top of the pie there we go we've got some pork over it. don't worry about that we can make another pie a little bit later on but for video purposes we'll just leave it at that now when I'm making these sort of pies I always use the short crust pastry a lot of people like to use the, the hot water pastry to lid them I rather use the short crust pastry it works just as well and it's much easier to use so we'll sprinkle a little bit of flour on I've showed you in past videos about using pastry don't work your pastry too much you only want enough pastry to do what you need now for this one I'm going to do that pie first so I just want a little bit of water around the edge of the pie like that put the lid on and just press it in just like that press it nice and tight onto the lid and then trim around the edge all right now you've got those scraps you're going to put another piece of pastry on the top of that see you're not working it in too much just going to put that like that and then i'm just going to pin it out a little bit of pastry on a little bit of flour on top of it Pin it out. And 
can we get? When you get your cutter, just make sure it fits your pie, you see like that? So you cut it and your pie match, and you just cut the number of pie lids out that you need. Two, three, four, five, six. Again, you've got some scraps on the just place them together. Get your fresh piece of pastry, put them over the top, press it down. Again, a little bit of flour, there and there, and away you go again. And you just do this until either all your pastry is used up or you've got enough lids to do the job. Okay, you get the gist of that. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to get this, these lids like this. And I'm just going to press them out a little bit, just like that with my fingers. There you go. Now they're ready to use. Now what I need is a little flat dish. There we go, there's a little flat dish. Okay, now get some water. Put it in your dish like that. Get your pie. Get your lid and just dip the lid into the water and press around like that. So dip it in, put it on, finger and thumb and just press around the edge. You see, I'll do one more and then we'll cut to me finishing them off. There you go. Right. Right, so we've got them all lidded now, so we get a sharp knife and just pop a little hole in the middle of each one. That lets any steam out of the pie that might build up and it won't blow the lid off. Again, do the same with the big pie as well, just put a little hole in the side. Now, we want some egg wash. Now, that's basically an egg broken up with a little bit of milk. Just beat it up in your cup or your container and then just rub it across the top like that. If you just use egg on its own, it does tend to burn a little bit. If you put a bit of milk in it, it's fine. Now you'll also notice I'm using the non-stick paper again. But I'm using it a second time. You see, I've used it on that side before, that's fine. Turn it over, use it again. You don't have to throw it away each time. You can use it several times, depending on what you're doing. I've just turned that one over. We're not wasting things here. Right, wash your pie. Run it across the top and then run your brush around the outside. And just do that. So across the top and round the outside. Easy as that. In the bakery we would be knocking these out every few seconds just like this. Washing them and running your fingers around as fast as you can with the brush. first nine ready for the oven. I'll give them five minutes rest because we roll that pastry out on the top and it would shrink if I put it in straight away. So we'll let it rest for five minutes and then we'll put them in the oven. We've left the pies around about 10-15 minutes and they're ready for the oven. Now we've set the oven at 150 degrees centigrade and we've got it on the pan oven. And we're putting it about two inches from the bottom remember so the bottom heat comes right through that tray and we'll cook the bottom of the pie at the same time as the top heat cooks the top of the pie and we'll leave that for around about half an hour so we've been around about half an hour and i think these pies are probably ready yes here they are nice golden brown let's take a look at those they are gorgeous just lift them up and we'll put them on this slab and we'll leave them there for about 50 to 20 minutes to cool down because when they cool down, we're actually going to put the pie gravy in. Right, we've been 15 to 20 minutes now. These pies are just warm now, which is perfect for putting the gravy. I've got them on a cooling tray, and I've got a pan underneath. Now, you can go three ways with this. The traditional way, which is what we did years ago, we used to boil up pig's trotters. Yeah, pig's trotters. 
you boil them up or you cook them in a slow cooker and the stock that comes off them you sieve down and you season and that makes you gravy and it's really tasty now a lot of, lot of people like big trotters these days and they're not that easy to get hold of so what we tend to use these days is chicken stock now if you remember when we did the chicken pies in the previous episode I told you to keep hold of the stock there it is so what you do you get your stock which is set because it's cold and you put it in a microwave or on a saucepan and you warm it up then you add a little bit of salt and pepper to taste and then it's ready you can then put that in your pies now there's a third method which is the easy method and you basically want some gelatine for this you can get powdered gelatine off the auction sites on the internet and you want two tablespoons per pint right so put two tablespoons in a jug put a little bit of water in just mix it up to make sure there's no lump then make it up to the full pint with boiling water add a chicken stock cube stir it up and again add salt and pepper to taste and there's your easy gravy right so we've got the gravy sorted let's gravy the pies i've zoomed the camera in a little bit so you can see what's going on you want a pointed knife any knife will do pointed knife and of course you want your stock now i'll do it to camera and then you can see you make a little hole in the side of the top just down the edge and then all you do you pour your gravy down the side of that pie until it's full you want it right to the top if any drips over it drips into the tray so it doesn't make a mess and you've not wasted any because whatever drips over you can put back in your jug later on and use it again so we're going to do all these it only takes a few minutes but make sure they fall to the top of this gravy there we go nearly done Couple more. and now we're going to leave these for however long it takes until they go stone cold because that gravy won't set in that pie until it's really cold you'll know when it's set because you just grab your pie and just tip it up if any gravy runs out you know it's not quite set yet so you put it down and let it cool off a bit longer I'll come back in a little while right so these pies have gone stone cold now i'm just going to cut one open then you can see what it's like inside there's the pie there's the grill look at that lovely meat now then, let's just see what it's like mm. right, it's all tasty now if you like what you see excuse me like share subscribe turn on your notifications oh by the way did you wonder what would happen to that big pie that we made at the short crust pastry there it is 